Hi Kinder, I am back and this week we are studying the earth. We've studied the moon, we've studied the sun, and this week we get to study the earth, which is where it's where we live, it's our home, so we should know a lot about it. So we are going to read a book by the same author, the same author who wrote The Sun. This author, Stacy McAnulty, she wrote a book called Earth, my first 4.54 billion years. Let's see what she can teach us about the Earth. Hi, my name is Earth. Some people call me Gaia, the blue marble, the world, or the third planet from the sun. You can call me Planet Awesome. My family is really, really big. I have seven siblings in my solar system. I'm closest to Venus and Mars. Some used to say I have eight siblings, but Pluto is more like the family pet. And then there are my cousins. My Milky Way family has billions of planets. Told you, big family. And there's, there's the Earth's family, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus, and Saturn. My favorite thing to, things to do are spinning. It takes me a whole day to go around once. And circling the sun. That takes me an entire year. My best friend is the moon. We hang out all the time, even when you can't see her. The moon needs 27 days seven hours, 43 minutes, and 12 seconds to go around me. I've timed her. I was born 4.54 billion years ago. I don't remember what it was like to be a baby. Who does? But I've been told I was a hot mess. Explosive, gassy, very cranky. Look at that picture of a baby earth. <laughs> then I started to cool off and things got wet. Really wet. It rained for thousands of years. I'm not kidding, thousands. I was soggy and lonely. A few islands popped up in my oceans, but no plants or animals. My islands must have been lonely too. They got together and made bigger islands called continents. I remember Ur and Nuna and the ginormous Pangea. Look at that. Then Pangea split into seven separate continents. North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Things are always changing. got older stuff began to grow. Life. Almost half my life you probably wouldn't even recognize me, though I've always been round. 2.4 billion years ago, air. If anyone had been alive, they could finally take a breath. 470 million years ago, plants that can live on land. 400 billion year, a million years ago, and then came bugs. 240 million years ago, my first dinosaur. 210 million years ago, yay for mammals. They're fuzzy and warm. 150 million years ago, birds, 
Did you know they are relatives of the dinosaurs? A hundred and thirty million years ago, flowers. I'm a very pretty planet. It's not bragging if it's true. And 200,000 years ago, Homo sapiens. You humans have big brains and walk on two feet. Look at all of the things that have happened on the earth. So many things came before humans. The time of the dinosaurs was one of my favorites. I mean, everyone loves dinosaurs. They lived with me for 175 million years. Until... Uh-oh. Asteroid! Look at that asteroid coming straight for the Earth! It's not always easy being Earth. Volcanic eruptions, ice ages, major collisions. But on the inside, I'm the same planet awesome. Inner crust, outer core, sorry, inner core, outer core, mantle, crust. Those are all the parts of the earth. That's the earth's insides. The core, the inner core, the outer core, the mantle, and the crust. Humans have been super fun. No other species has ever been interested in learning about me. Other animals are nice, but they mostly eat and poop and never wonder about my amazing life. All these people and all these fun things you get to do on the planet Earth. But sometimes humans forget to share and play nice, and they forget to clean up after themselves. That's not very nice. Still, I bet you humans will turn out to do really great things. We love you, Earth. Look who's in the background of that Earth. There's the moon and we have the sun right there. Always looking at the other pond. The end. So what did you learn about the Earth? There's so much to learn. It's been around for such a long time and we're just a tiny piece of its history. What can we do to make sure it stays around even longer? Something to think about. <laughs>